garnish setup at the station. Your garnish setup is the biggest indicator of your organization and professionalism behind the bar. Fresh ingredients attract flies and bugs, cause a mess and spoil quickly when exposed to heat and air. This means that if the garnish setup at your station is neat, clean and all the ingredients are fresh, guests will instantly have confidence in your ability to prepare delicious drinks for them. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the garnishes categories that we will be using and how to go about setting up your garnishes. Let's begin with the garnish categories. When it comes to setting up your garnishes at your station, there are two main categories that all your garnishes will fall into. First, garnishes that you prepare before service begins. These garnishes don't spoil quickly or bruise easily, and because of this can be prepared before service. This will save you the time of having to prepare these garnishes during service, meaning you'll be able to get more done in a shorter period of time. Examples include spice garnishes, consumables, seasonings and sweet garnishes like maraschino cherries, chocolates and sweets. The second category is garnishes that you prepare as the order arrives. These garnishes need to be prepared on the spot because they cannot be left too long before they dry up, spoil or turn brown. Examples include fresh fruit garnishes like apples, citrus fruits, pears and berries. It is absolutely crucial that soft fruits and fruits that brown quickly are kept wrapped up neatly in the fridge the moment that you are finished working with them. This way you can keep them fresher for longer. Now that we know the two categories of garnishes when it comes to setting up your station, let's look at setting up your garnishes. Before you go about setting up your garnishes around your station, make sure that you understand the following principles so that you are able to apply them and maximize the effectiveness of your garnish setup. Firstly, set aside an area in the closest fridge where you will be able to access all the garnishes which need to be stored there easily. Secondly, set aside an area on your workstation where you will be able to keep those garnishes and consumables that don't need to be stored in a fridge. And lastly, organize both of these areas with the most common garnishes being the most easily accessible. Now that you have set up your garnishes perfectly, remember to constantly check up on these at quiet stages during service to make sure that you still have enough. Well done on finishing this lesson where we learnt about the garnish categories and how to go about setting up your garnishes.